Hello viewers, welcome to Eek International Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. Today we have Mr. Guru Prasad from Enerman. A very warm welcome to Eek, sir. Thank you so much and a warm welcome to Eek to you and all the visitors who have visited InterSolar. Uh, good afternoon to all. Yep. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, can you please enlighten us about the company? Uh, we are from Enerman Technologies and uh, we are based in Bangalore and uh, we provide uh, IoT based SCADA solutions for the solar industry and uh, currently we have a cumulative capacity of 1.8 gigawatt of assets which we are monitoring in India plus other locations outside India also. So that's our quick and uh, brief about our organization. Great sir. So sir, how does Enerman incorporate IoT, AI, ML into SCADA products for optimizing solar PV platform performance? Yeah, thanks. Uh, in fact, uh, today IoT is a new technology which is catching up and uh, we incorporate AI and ML uh, for our communication, live, live monitoring and also for the alert mechanism is what we use uh, M to M, that is machine to machine communication also. So we deploy and especially for inverter ranking and inverter analysis and for the energy generation loss and for forecasting, we use AI. So we deploy latest technology in our platform. Oh, great. So, so how does Enerman customize its products for market needs? See, for India, I would say more or less our product is to the customer's requirement. Whatever customer needs, our product is to the point. And it comes to market outside India, for example, Australia or for US. So there are certain requirements or customization which the customer wants or the market needs. And as Enerman, uh, we have the capability, we have the team which has the expertise to build the product swiftly and give it to the particular geography or location. That's how we've been working so far and in future also. Oh, wow, sir. So what are the common challenges do solar PV operators face and how does Enerman provide solution to address these challenges? So this is a bit lengthy answer from me. Kindly excuse that. Okay. So first and foremost is basically on data acquisition. How do you get the data from the field on real time? That is the first and foremost thing. And our data logger has the effective capability to acquire data real time and without any data loss from the field. Because the most important thing is the data should not be missed from the field. We do it and our data logger has the capability to store data up to 30 days in case any disruption in internet and something. So we have been very successful throughout our uh, journey so far that we have been able to meet up with no data loss and with 100% data acquisition. That is one. And secondly, uh, in terms of uh, real time alerts. So people don't get alerts on time when there is a fault of an inverter or something. And we also use a very unique machine to machine technology, which is called as uh, MQTT broker and subscriber model where you get real-time alerts, that is one. And a third is your live data. So my platform uh, gives you access of live data through cloud and customer can access data anywhere in the world, 24 bar 7 through a web or through a mobile app. So that is one. And other most thing which today industry is facing is how do you have the grid stability? So we have a product which is our uh, power plant control system, we call it as ETAPPC. This controls your active power, reactive power, as well as voltage, thereby giving you a very stable and fast at the grid connection point and stability at the grid connection point also. And thirdly, the load management system, where you will be able to have a stability between the grid and the utility of import and export of energy with or without DG also. And just two more points I'll add. I'll not take much of your time. Other point what we have is we have a very unique product for solar parks. Today, uh, industry, they all know all the developers, they come with a solar park with multiple customers within that. We have a very unique product and Enerman has developed a product for solar park exclusively. So customer can view individual plants, consolidated plants, and they get reports also on time. And one more, in terms of reporting, which I mentioned, we provide automated report for the customers, which is at the plant level, device level, with a granularity of even one minute data. That is accuracy we give it, right? 
and again lastly is what we would like to uh, uh, mention is um, in terms of the solar park which I mentioned we have a unique product and we are able to cater to the customers and everything and these are all the challenges which customers are facing and we are able to address it with all our product and solution and we also provide local server in case customer does not want to have a cloud solution we host it on the local server and customer wherever he's got his headquarter he or she can access that data through web hosting through op by data pushing through an opc ftp or upi so all the challenges which we face inputs come from customers and we have product solution which we address on time yep wow great sir so proper and so detailed and can you please let me know, can you outline Enermin's future roadmap for product development and what are the upcoming features for the customer to anticipate? Yes, uh, we would like to uh, come up with uh, energy storage management, which is the next trend catching up in the industry for us. Storage is a very key factor. We would like to develop a product for that. Then advanced analytics for asset management. Then one more product for electric vehicles and building load management. So this is the roadmap which we have for ourselves, uh, which we should be launching in near future.